my name is Jin Young Lee, uh, though most people call me Jenny. So I am a monk member of the research faculty at the University of Hawaii at Manoa Center on Aging. I have a master's in gerontology from San Francisco State University and a PhD in public health from the University of Hawaii at Manoa. So I call myself a public health gerontologist. My research interests include food insecurity, aging in place, and social isolation. The mission of UH Center on Aging is to enhance the well-being of older adults through interdisciplinary and collaborative effort in research as well as educational programs and services to the community. The center is a research center focused on applied, translational, and community-engaged research with attention to the diverse population in Hawaii and the Asia-Pacific region. We advance numerous initiatives, such as Age-Friendly Honolulu, the Hawaii Alzheimer Disease Initiative, and the Kupuna Collective. So the Kupuna is a Hawaiian word for older adults. I have opportunity to participate in all of these programs, but it is really the Kupuna Collective that has the greatest focus on supporting the aging nutrition network. So my contributions include leading data analysts analysis for the Kupuna Food Security Coalition, supporting the community development block grant programs, food insecurity mitigation efforts in rural areas, and evaluating the ACL innovation in nutrition programs and services grant, which is helping support the Kupuna U program provided by Lana Kila Pacific and other partners in Hawaii. A significant aspect aspect of my role is to articulate the impact of these programs to stakeholders and policymakers, which is critical in ensuring the sustainability of successful interventions. Please describe your project and its purpose. First, I should probably describe what a story map is. So story map is a web map that has been thoughtfully created, given context, and provided with supporting information. So it became a standalone resource. It integrates maps, resin, text, and photos, and provides functionality that helps users explore this content. This particular story map has been created to provide an overview of the aging population in Honolulu County. These maps can help stakeholders understand the characteristic of this important community, such as the current status of need, existing resources, and where support is needed most. This story map will inform policy, planning, and targeting of scarce resources. With one in four people in Honolulu County aged 60 or older, understanding more about this vulnerable population is critical in developing programs and policies. While the population of the US is aging overall with a slow with a slowing birth rate and life expectancy is increasing. The trend in Honolulu County are even more significant. Like the population trends experienced elsewhere, Honolulu is undergoing demographic shift driven by outflow of young adults seeking career opportunity on the mainland and older adults choosing Honolulu as a retirement place, location. So consequently, it is anticipated that by 2040, Older adults will constitute about 30% of population, which reflects a notable increase in signal, a significant demographic transformation. The current version of the story map provides details on this vulnerable population, both a demographic 
and detail the geographic level. So for example, while we may know that about 40% of older adults in Honolulu County have some form of disability, resulting in an increased needs for care and support. The story map breaks down the type of disabilities and the prevalence of dis disabilities at a zip code level. By incorporating maps, charts, and visuals, the story map makes the content easy to access, understand, and share. What are some ways aging nutrition programs can engage with projects like this story map? So as we know, food insecurity adversely impacts older adults' physical and the mental health, worsening diabetes and hypertension, and increased psychological distress. The USDA identified that 5.5 million older adults, age 60 plus, in the US are food insecure. However, other research suggests that this figure substantially underestimate the truth prevalence. This USDA estimates are based on a one size fits all tool, which emphasize food access issues resulting from financial constraints. However, food insecurity for older adults is also often related to other important factors such as physical disability, chronic illness, and cognitive impairment. In, in fact, the based on uh, insight from my research, 18 published studies on the topic found that 12 factors in addition to financial constraints are linked to food insecurity for older adults, including race, gender, age group, educational attainment, ability, uh, disability status, and living alone, marital status, and distance to the grocery store. Recognize that older adults' food insecurity is influenced by multiple factors. It is, it is critical to understand the prevalence and geographic distribution of those factors so that we can develop and scale effective intervention programs accordingly. Therefore, tools like story maps can be very effective in understanding and communicating the scale and urgency of the need across specific geography and communities. For example, the current story map tool already includes information on financial status, prevalence of disabilities, living arrangement, race and ethnicity, language preference, and digital access with more being added. Using tools such as story maps, aging nutrition programs can pinpoint the unique needs of various communities, allowing them engage more deeply by customizing resources and intervention to effectively address the multi-faced aspect of food insecurity for older adults. How do you use the tool to communicate with different levels of leadership? So let me provide exa an example from the Kupuna Food Security Coalition's work. A critical part of the launch of the coalition was the decision to leverage data throughout the process to ensure that decisions were evidence-based and prioritization of resources align with the greatest need. So the first step was to identify the target population of older adults with potential unmet food needs in Honolulu County. So leveraging poverty data from the census, along with the information captured in the Aloha United Way LSE report on older adults struggle to make ends meet. The coalition identified the number of potential older adults in need down to a zip code level. Additionally, data on each of the affordable senior housing facility in the county was gathered to help identify the number of seniors served by each location and potential coalition members coverage. So with this estimate of potential seniors in need, 
the coalition also began collecting data on food resources and delivery volumes from each partner on a weekly basis, including capturing either the housing facility or zip code where meals were being provided. So by identifying both the targeted population and food resources at a detailed geographic level, the coalition was able to identify gaps, i.e. how much additional food resources were needed and where there were potential overlap and the coalition could help allocate resources where they could have the greatest impact. Importantly, this work on identifying target population, gaps, and potential overlaps provided by entire coalition membership with a common language where food providers and funders could better understand where their resources were most needed. The Soviet map project goes beyond this to, de to provide data on all the underlying drivers of food insecurity for older adults at a detailed geographic level and in a format that is easy to consume and share with others. How can the Aging Nutrition Network better leverage data? So the, pro the purpose of the Soviet map tool is to provide data and visuals that makes easier for organization to highlight the scale and scope of the need at a detailed community level. We already know that financial pressures and their associated with choices have a significant negative impact on the level of food insecurity, medication adherence, and overall health among this vulnerable population. Public assistance, such as congregated meal programs, the supplemental nutrition assistance program, and senior housing facilities helps to address this impact. But the COVID-19 pandemic highlighted notable weakness in these programs with the, congreg with the congregated meal disrupted, reduced access to grocery stores, given the fear of transmission, and reduced access to medical facilities. Family support structure can help offset the impact of financial pressure on older adults. But about 20% of older adults in Honolulu County live alone, which is an increase of 70, excuse me, 37% over the last eight years. Older adults who live alone have greater support needs, both physically and emotionally, than those in a similar age group who live as a couple or with, live with their family members. Being able to visually communicate these stories with the potential funders, board members, community leaders, and public policy leaders is critical to building and sustaining support for programs and, and initiatives. So our goal with this project is to make that easier for the incredible organizations providing support for older adults across our community. Spending time and energy on delivering services, rather than researching and gathering data that supports the needs, is what the Aging Nutrition Network is built to do. We are hoping that we can be a resource that supports those efforts and provide the community with the data and tools that they need. Excellent. And now a bonus question. Jenny, give me one fun fact about you. Uh, the one fun fact about myself. Hmm. That's a great question. Um, okay. Oh, here's the one fun fact. So I do love community volunteer work, in particular, cleaning public toilets. 